that's a cute jumper. Oh, daddy, that is cute. Um, I'm dressing my Barbie doll. Actually, oh, yeah, my take avatar. Your, my take avatar. Your time. My yeah, representation. Take your time. My digital representation of myself. Hi, Justin. Come to the party. Hang on, let me see. Oh, oh, there's a few people here. Sage, yeah, kids, Dix, and Victor. I don't know where they are though. Where are they? Are they underneath? Mm. Look. No, not underneath. You're mm. viciously TPing people in as we speak. Okay. <clears throat> Why don't you just want to talk to me on your own, Lolly? Why can't I have you to myself? I just want you to myself. I, I never get you. I just want on my it's, own. It's... Yeah. We'll make a purple. It's kind of like a... It creates like a teasing effect, like it's a longing sensation of, like, God, if we could just get alone, but we can't. <laughs> kind of. Yeah, but we literally could on Discord. I don't understand. Oh, this is the the theater. Okay, sorry. <clears throat> okay, all right. This is a the theater. Okay, sorry. sorry. <laughs> oh, Lolly. Oh, I really want to be alone with you. Why can't we ever be alone? I went to drama <laughs> school for this. This is great. If you look up Newtown, if you look up Newtown Performing Arts High School, I went there. So there you oh, go. Wow. I, had to, I had to audition to get in. It was very, very, yeah, I don't know about that. Huh. Say, but anyway. <clears throat> That's pretty cool. Yeah, it was okay. It was a fame school. Everybody was going to be famous. <sighs> okay, okay. Okay, make a purple. Um, can you bring your avatar a little bit closer to my avatar? No, I'm just looking for this top that I have in my. Oh God, yeah, take your my time. Avatar. Make... No, no, I just gotta find it because I bought it today. It's like a, an applier. By all means, make a purple. You, take your. Do you know sweet... what an Do you know what an applier is, Lolly? Tell me, what's an applier? Well, you. Well, it's when you apply it to your avatar's skin. It's not um... actually a. A clothing it's something that you can add to your skin like oh my leggings. god I love explanations from girls <laughs> I really like it like it's so yeah. I feel like I'm in a slumber party oh fuck off <sighs> one time when I was 12 I went to a slumber party and I went to an all girls school mm -hmm. and I had a fight with oh my god friends. oh my god oh my god let me see i gotta see i gotta see this oh my god what oh my what? oh my god okay okay what? okay okay let's calm down what? let's everyone just calm nothing 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 go, what go are you ahead. getting so excited about all right screw you dude. i'm not gonna tell that story <clears throat> <clears throat> dude just sometimes make a purple you just gotta understand that a guy just sometimes really enjoys female company and presence you know what i mean I just you know? wish. No, I don't. He what? men no. don't want the company of one woman. They want the company of like two or three. Oh, that's kind of like a safety net. Like if one girl starts acting up, then like they can like brush her off and go with to with the other seventeen or whoever else is like kind of a thing. What if but they not all though? guys? What if they're a nice person and they just want to do whatever they they can for that guy, and yet he still goes off? What happens then? Um, it becomes really difficult because I've been, uh, let me think about that. Can you, can you, can you ask me that again real quick? I need to, I need to ponder on it. What the question was <laughs> exactly. You need to record it. You need to record it. <laughs> <laughs> if a girl, if a girl causes no problems to the man, she is loving, mm. considerate, kind, thoughtful, giving, very giving, um, <laughs> yet... He wants to spend time with other women. How how do we? How does the person? Uh, she's got to leave him, obviously. But uh, why does he do that? That's the reason. That's what I'm asking. Why? <clears throat> well, some guys are very retarded, just like some females are very retarded. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, I'm not. I don't get along with people. You know, so I don't, because I don't think like them. You know, I like to reciprocate when people 
treat me nicely, I treat them nicely. If people try to play cuck games with me, then I'll also play cuck games with them. If people try to become toxic with me, I will also become toxic with them. I just mm -hmm. give what I receive. Yeah, so the answer is you don't know because you're such a stand-up nice guy. Is that the answer? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay, uh, yeah. That's it. Yeah, that, that's it. Yeah, that's, yeah. So you can't even imagine acting like that because... No, no, I can imagine it because I witnessed it. I'm, I've, I'm witnessing chimpanzees all around me doing all this nonsense. Really? So I, can, I, don't need, I don't need to imagine it. I'm witnessing it, and I don't agree with it. I think it's retarded. I think these people have mental issues. They have mental problems, that they're brain damaged, they've caused themselves mm -hmm. brain damage, they have drug issues, they have alcohol issues. I, don't, I mean, I, I don't even know why people keep asking me. Like, there are some people that have come across to me and have asked me, hey, Lolly, what's your issue with drugs and alcohol? And I'm like mind boggled that people would even ask me that. I mean, like, are you, why? There's a, do, do, do people not see all around themselves? like the issues that drug and alcohol causes pe people i mean mm -hmm. why are you gonna why ask me this are you that are you living under a rock that you're gonna ask me why i have a problem with drugs and alcohol mm. you know really it's like i'm, I'm mind boggled that people would even ask me that well they want to be able to have fun and they want your uh <laughs> blessing and they want your blessing to have fun. I'm not going to I'm not, I, hell, they I'm not gonna to give go, them. They're, they're going to say, oh, maybe if I only have one glass of bourbon, maybe if I only have one cone of drugs of, of pot, you know, <laughs> maybe he'll, he'll, I can get away with that and I can still have his friendship and his, you know, his mm. company, you know, maybe if I just do it a bit differently because I'm not like those people. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I'm different. Like, yeah, uh, okay, yeah. That's retarded, make a purple. But it, it is how they are. Yeah, you're right. How they are. Are we <coughs> specifically talking about the people from the hubs? People from online. Because the, the people that I'm around in real life, they don't do drugs and alcohol. So I don't have to have that conversation with them. Right. If they, if they did do drugs and alcohol, they wouldn't be around me in the first place. So I don't have to have that kind of conversation with people in real life because I don't surround myself with alcoholic retards. They're very close-minded. You you're biased because you only see drug-addicted assholes that stay on here all day and scream at, e at each other. Yeah. You don't see intelligent people taking a certain amount of of mind-altering substances and actually becoming a better individual because of that. They don't get addicted to it. They still hold down jobs, blah, 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 pay their bills, everything like that. But they have a certain amount of that mind-altering substance that takes them away, mm -hmm. enhances their mind, expands their mind, you know? Yeah. Um, there, was a Scottish, there was a Scottish bitch on here that was trying to convince me to take mushrooms with her. <laughs> Scottish. <laughs> Can we just name names, please? No, 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 no. Don't, Why? don't give these people power and clout. The... Don't, okay. don't, don't dignify uh... them with mentioning their name around around my Barbie doll and giving them power. F these uh -huh. people. I they don't, think they don't get, they don't, they don't get to ride on my nutsack for free like that. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> I get it. Yeah. Alrighty. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Can we name names? Okay. <laughs> yeah, but I want to shame them. I want to name and shame them. Are you, are you saying that these people will, will get think they're getting clout even if we shame them? Yes. That's that's very yes. sad. That's very well, sad. Well, that's how lonely they are. That's how lonely they are. They don't care if it's positive or negative. Just the fact that they're being mentioned boosts their little Barbie doll ego in a retarded, oh. in the most retarded. That's, that, well, that's what you call brain damage. That's why, that, that's why they're brain damaged. <laughs> uh, look at this. Yeah, kids. You know? He's having a good old time spying on us. Sorry. I clicked on the wrong thing. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So she tried to, so how she wanted you to take mushrooms with her while you were in sl or she wanted you to fly over to scotland to she wanted her. me to be okay with her taking mushrooms like she was trying to convince me using retard logic, logic. that mushrooms are okay oh dear and do you think 
What what's your idea on that? Because because people it's not okay. Well, people well mushrooms are a natural occurring. They they're a natural. They're a plant based thing. Actually, they've said that their biology is very similar to that of animals. If you look into it a little bit more. Um, Make a purple. This is a fascinating discussion. Please have a seat. <laughs> Just looking for this tattoo for my ears. Hang on, it's very important. Okay. Ears... Okay. Um, okay. Let me. Let me. Let's get. Let's get more nuanced with it then. If you want to like go on that route a little bit, let's get a little bit more nuanced. Uh, like not like into the nitty gritty of the chemical compounds and how it affects the the human brain and the the body and cellular stuff and things like that. But let's talk about like the morality and the philosophy and the thought process behind why I'm not okay with it. <clears throat> a little bit um a girl asked me hey lolly if you do uh if you drink alcohol like what do you call it what do you consider an alcoholic lolly and i'm like um and I, my my initial answer to her was even if you drink alcohol even if you took one sip of alcohol every mm -hmm. five years i would label you an alcoholic personally. well that's not well okay yeah mm. All right, and on. she's like she's like well lolly what the heck that's not okay that doesn't make any sense i mean seriously come on lolly are you really why do you have such an issue so then i'm like okay she she wants a more detailed answer like she because that doesn't make sense to her so i you know i just i decided to tell her like okay look um even in the quran there's a verse okay because i'm an islamic dude and you know my decisions and thought processes are based off of you know and so even in the quran quran alcohol even in the quran let's let's just get into the it's called it's called khamer in arabic but let me there's actually a verse in the quran that specifically talks about uh alcohol let me see if i could for you uh let's see 443 Okay, hold on. Hold on. Ran two two nine. I just gotta. They ask you, O Prophet, about intoxicants and gambling. Say, there is great evil in both, as well as some benefit for for people, but the evil outweighs the benefits. So even in the Quran, it mentions like you know alcohol has benefits sure yeah it does have benefits mm -hmm. but the but the uh the downside the the, the evil the, the the horrible effects of it far outweigh the benefits so don't do it you know well you should you should preface that with the potential the potential, the potential um deficits outweigh the benefits I can't believe I'm saying this because alcohol is, was such a fucking mean ass problem for me. Oh, um, well, that's all. Well, there you go, make a purple. It has benefits, yeah. sure. I mean, if you if you do the if you do the science and whatever in the little laboratory and check what it does to your body and do like you know have a controlled test and whatever, you'll see that it does have little benefits and stuff. It helps out with little things here and there. But you will sp but you could easily spiral out of control with it and just it'll ruin your life. That's the drawback. It just ruins ruins everything. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? The Quran says, "Hell no, it's not worth it." And when I'm like making a big deal about people like doing this shit, mm. it's because I'm not trying to be a con I'm not trying to be a control freak. When I care about people as a human being, I don't want them to mess their head. Uh, I don't want them to mess mess their head, mess with their own head like that. Why would you cause your brain permanent brain damage like this? And you're gonna come at me with these goofy like oh, it has benefits, lolly. It has benefits. Fuck on my nuts with your benefits. What the <laughs> hell are you? Are you what, what are you? <laughs> what are you talking about? It has but yeah, okay. It has benefits. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, it, it. What it like? What? What is the benefit? It like makes you feel warm for a couple of seconds, but I it jacks up the rest of. It's come the on, only man. thing. It's the only thing that I can actually have on an airplane that will help me get through a flight and that's sad i'm gonna have to ruin my sobriety in order to get on a fucking plane again oh, and i, I have to, i've been thinking about it a lot you know um because it's it's a long time to be sober 
Um, but I want to travel. Benefit. I it has travel. benefits. It does have it benefits. Has benefit. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. sure. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah, like uh, yeah, the benefits like but... the benefit gives you a score of like point zero zero three. And like the the drawbacks is like a ten thousand percent versus like a point zero zero three percent benefit. Get the hell out of here, you, the pl- thing please. Is, <laughs> the thing is, is that if if I do drink, uh, like in moderation on an airplane, just to stimmy my phobias and my fear, then that yeah. will I'll go. Oh, oh, I didn't get so tankless. Oh, okay, I didn't make a fool of myself. Oh, I was okay with that three glasses of wine. Oh, that's okay. I will be lulled into a false sense of security that I can do that all the time, which I can't. Well, it's important to talk about these things, make a profile, because I hear these, like, now Generation Z is like this new generation of, like, these toddlers that they used to be toddlers, and now they're, now they're like, 18, 19, and they're starting to ask all these questions, <laughs> you know, as if, like, as if no one's ever heard about these, these, these uh, arguments before, no one's ever heard them before, so they're like, oh, we're the first ones... To, to yeah. talk about these, you know, so I'm like, play. and I'm like rolling my eyes. I'm like hanging out with Gen Z on the internet, and like, I'm like, like trying really hard not to like rip their heads off and like be patient with that? retard. I don't know. Is it because you want to have sex with these people? Is no, this... I just want to. I'm just. It's a phenomenon to me. Like I'm mean, like you know, because there, there are these new younger kids now, right? And they're like. I've never, you know, they're actually growing enough balls to like start having conversations and trying to have arguments and stuff because they're not little kids anymore. They're like eight. And so it's like a phenomenon to me. Like, let me hear what these new pack of little, this new wave of little faggots and bitches are saying. Is Are they actually you... bringing anything new to the table? No, yeah. they're not. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. That's the end of that. <laughs> they, they, they won't become interesting for another 10 years though won't they until they're in their 30s i guess yeah and they've had a yeah. few failures and they've tried a few things and they realize they're not going to get a partition right but here's the here's the right. here's the issue make a proposal once they've had a few things and they've done a few things they're brain damaged like all the rest so <laughs> what, do you mean, what i'm trying to baggage well, they're or... gonna baggage as well as mental brain like little or brain damage you they're going to try drugs. They're going to do MDMA. They're going to try all this shit. You know, it has benefits, but mushrooms has benefits. And, you know, freaking like one eye stops working and <laughs> what, the, what the hell? And then now they're in their the 30s. And this huh? is what you don't understand is that a whole generation was built on psychedelics, music, art, fashion, mm. everything. Culture was built on psychedelics. And mm. then a whole other culture was draw, drew from that. You don't, because you don't, you're not, you're not a scholar of the humanities, so you don't know how societies and cultures work. So I have to explain. Okay, but this. check, but, che- but, okay, but check this out, Nika Purple. I just read you a verse from the Quran. The Quran was written 1,400 plus years ago. Mm-hmm. You know, it already addressed this shit. Like, I don't know, how many generations is that? Freaking 14 generations ago. As mm-hmm. if, like, what? Is this something new? Is this really something new that we need to be thinking about, really? It has benefits. The benefits are nothing compared to the drawbacks of doing this shit. Why are you me- messing with your head? But people are going to do it anyways. They're going to do it, and these people are not my people. I'm, I'm, I'm not. Uh, are you referring to you the know. drug takers of the of the hubs specifically? Uh, the drug takers of uh, everyone on here is of some kind of a drug addict. Okay, so you're only referring to people here. You're very. You're Every, very no, no, not just here. Online, offline, everywhere. What do they Anybody call that? who does drugs. Kind of- Kind of live in a vacuum in here. You only refer make to pur- make, a, make, make, make a purple. Boring. Make make a purple. Every everyone. It's it includes people in real life. Do you think people in real life what are exempt? What I want to do. Okay. One of my goals in this life is to <laughs> get on a plane and come visit you and go on a really really long road trip with you. So just you and I can talk in the car because I think okay. we would benefit greatly from that. <laughs> so we're we're not and we won't talk about SL. We won't talk about anything like that. Um, mm-hmm. You won't be feeling better about yourself because you've you've slept amongst dogs and you've woken up with fleas and shit like that. Like I think a part of you kind of wants to wants to be. I I don't know. I get the feeling that you kind of want to because you have been in cahoots with some awful people in here because they use <laughs> you as a pawn because they know you have nothing to lose in here. So they give you things mm-hmm. that you can publicize and you won't. Yeah, you won't be. You do it with um. You do it with impunity. I don't like that. 
That's what I tell you I in do. that long car ride, you know. I'd say, you know, Ahmed, Farouk, you can't keep doing that. Hmm? <laughs> 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 well, you know, uh, I'm... Hmm. I would possibly meet people in uh, from the internet to do things with if you know like I, I said to like one or one person like if we're gonna do like a hardcore strenuous physical activity to where after we done we we done doing it you're like it would be like for the rest of your life you'd be thinking about it like yeah I accomplished that like yeah we climbed the highest mountain in the entire continent took us and it took us one month to do it. You don't like do anything an... for yeah, but you don't do anything for pleasure, do you? That's my pleasure. My pleasure is to do these strenuous activities. Adre I'm an adrenaline junkie, man. <laughs> You're not an adrenaline. <laughs> you, know, you don't oh believe me? Oh my god! <laughs> I got you into cycling because I was talking about it so much. You bought a bike with uh, disc brakes, which is. Mega Compared Purple, to I mine, told you, I didn't... told you to buy a bike with disc brakes, Mega Purple. <laughs> it never did. I'm going to. I'm going to buy a Trek Marlin Five or something when I get back to Sydney. <laughs> but I had my back brakes replaced yesterday. It took five minutes for the cute little boy at the bike shop. Charged me twenty dollars, mm. and he tightened up my headset. Mm mm mm. And I walked out there and I did a few hills. It was very nice. Well, that's but good. I had a mask on, so I couldn't give him kind of, you know, I couldn't kind mm. of chat him. It's okay. It's, okay. Mm, I always feel a little bit intimidated in those bike places. Why? I said to him, well, my headset needed to tighten up, and I didn't realize that there was another screw at the opposite side of the headset because I'm fucking retarded. And I walked in there thinking that I needed a torque wrench. I'm like, oh, you know. <laughs> Walked in there like I knew what I was doing. I walked in there. Oh yeah, yeah. I tried to. I, I tried to fix it, but you know the Allen key isn't the right size for these screws, and I don't have a torque wrench. <laughs> he's like, oh, okay. <laughs> he goes back, and he's like, yeah, it was the uh, the screw on the opposite side of the headset. You didn't see oh. it. No, no, I didn't see it. No, no, no. Yeah, those there's places, uh... those places intimidate me. It's like when I go to music shops as well. Yeah, it's okay. I don't look cool when I ride my bike, though. I have this pink helmet that I wear from Kmart. Yeah. I've got to get a well, new one to look cool. I'm sure you went more. out. And... But, tell, but I think, I think we, uh, it, went, it went into something else. Like It went from us meeting in person, but we were initially talking about like drugs and alcohol. Yeah. Are you up to your neck in these discussions of drugs and alcohol? Like, as, are you, like, but, sick and tired of, have you heard these talks way too much? I think you're very close-minded about a lot of things that you would actually get, get a lot of benefit from. No, no. Well, here, I'm acknowledging, I'm acknowledging it, that it has benefits. Even the Quran acknowledges that there's benefits. Make a purple. It was because of Islam that we have medicine today. It was because of the religion of Islam and Islamic just, scholars a thousand years ago that we have medicine I could, today. I just wish I could talk to you normally because you're like... <laughs> You're, you're like a conspiracy theorist for Islam. You think, oh, I, you know, something purple. good happened. Oh, oh, my, that's oh my god! Oh my god! Make it purple. Do you want me to? Do you want me to give you like PhD written references for? Okay, hold on. Oh fuck no! I'm not reading a fucking thesis. Look, I'll read the abstract. That's it. I'm not reading anything. No, because you're not gonna. This <laughs> other guy wanted. He said to me, he was at my house the other day, and he said to me. Oh, I saw these Aussie girls on Facebook wearing the hijab. And I said, I'm not wearing it. He's like, you be, you look really good in a hijab. So every time you send me those things, I feel like you're trying to convert me to. No, I'm not convert. Whether What's you convert, that? make a purple, whether you convert or not, doesn't change the fact that the religion of Islam is, is the direct reason we have all the medicine we have today. <laughs> It doesn't matter whether you convert or not. That's not going to change the reality of it. I've just met the biggest. I've just met the biggest hypocrite example for Islam in my life. Not you, the guy that I that I don't see anymore. He was the biggest hypocrite. 
we spoke about him before, didn't we? We already talked about like like you know he's you know the reli- the religion teaches what it teaches. Yeah, he is a hypocrite. Unfortunately, it sounds like, you know. These people are not high quality people, Mega Purple. They suffer from cognitive dissonance. Like everyone suffers a little bit from cognitive dissonance. Even I do a little bit. Yeah, like what what is an example of you suffering cognitive dissonance? Sure, I'll explain. Uh, the, my uh, the religion of Islam says not to make a big deal about uh, a person's body count. Oh. <laughs> but I but yet me personally, I make a big deal about a person's body count. <laughs> Why? Why? Because it's a way that you troll. It's you no, it's just go. it's my own issue that I have with it. Like it's like something that I bring to the table, me personally, that I have an issue with. Even though, like you could, like if you came to me and told me, like, hey, but but Lolly, in your religion, the prophet of your or of your religion, Muhammad peace be upon him, he had a bunch of wives while he was alive, and all of his wives, with the exception of one, were all widows. They were all married to someone else before they married him, meaning mm. meaning that they already had sex before someone else before they married him and the and the prophet of your religion didn't have a problem with them having a body count but why do you have a body count who are you to be a, have a problem when your own prophet of your own religion that you follow didn't have a problem with it and my rebuttal would be my only rebuttal would be is like the difference is that they were married so they had sex while they were married so they did it they did it properly when they they got their body count but still they had a body count and i have an issue with it and so I, I, I i'm not supposed to have a problem with it you know, yeah, and but but yet I do. So that's me, not that's me personally not lining up with my belief system because I got I got to work on myself. So I suffer from a little bit of cognitive dissonance too. My actions. Is this <sighs> is this is this a female thing? Do you think? Do you care about the body count of men who are who are your friends who are around you? It's it's really yeah, the mentality is. For me to think about, like, if I were to marry a girl and I was going to be like, this girl is a bunch of people's leftovers and, you know, they just use her and now here she is ending up with me as a leftover. That's like, that makes me like a cock or something like this. And I I can't say it's like unacceptable. You don't see women as separate to their biology, do you? You see them... (laughs) <laughs> so they're taking on it's like it's like cuts in a tree they're carrying around all of those people every single person that they've had sex with they're carrying around that person yeah. everywhere they go yeah it's kind of like damn it's like some she was like every time i use her tight little holes and stuff and uh <clears throat> you know i'm like someone's already got gotten to enjoy this hole that is now mine but That's someone else already got to enjoy it it's a very misogynistic way of looking at having sex. <laughs> I, well, at least I, I hope that... I hope you appreciate that I'm being honest, at least, make a fair point. I <laughs> appreciate that you're being honest, but it's something that you may need to go to therapy. Because... <laughs> <laughs> uh... So... I'm, I'm... I'm envisaging you walking around the street, looking at all these women, and just seeing not not who they are, but how they are in regards to their in inverted commas body count, like big you know, gulps, big gulps of like the thing, like well, rubbering around uh, every. You do you know do you know the only way that I would not have a problem with it, make a purple? One of the only way, one of uh, a few ways that went in which I would not ha- have a problem with it. How? If I brought a similar body count to the table. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. <laughs> well, well, you're gonna be you're gonna be very you know, you're gonna be very lonely in your marriage. Why? <laughs> <laughs> very lonely. Why? Because I want to be lonely. <laughs> Because in order to marry somebody who doesn't have, who has not had any previous partners, you're going to have to marry a very young person who's very, very, very naive. Mm, now, I, I, I heard about, I heard about a very, a very, 
incompatible Muslim marriage when I was dating that Muslim guy. He talked about his first marriage a lot. Tell me about it. Well, he, she was Turkish. He was Algerian. And they dated for about two years or whatever. They didn't have sex. And they did other stuff. I don't he didn't go into, <clears throat> he didn't go into, like, I think he was um, 27 and she was, like, 25 or something. I don't know. I can't remember. Hmm. And okay. she cried on the first night. He, and then he said, I, I had to open her up. Oh, God. He's so gross. Wait, 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 wait. Let's, <laughs> let's slow it down because I need to, like, properly, like, think about this. So okay. he, his first wife was a young Turkish girl. Yeah, Aussie, born, I think born in Turkey, but grew up here. Okay. Um, and her family, her father drank alcohol, everything, but they were Muslim. Yeah, uh, okay. And he didn't like that. He didn't like that because the father, he didn't want any alcohol at the wedding, but his father, the, the father-in-law wanted the alcohol at the wedding. Um, okay. And... Um, and the, his expectations of her sexually after they got married were so outrageously high for somebody who, who's who, never... Whose expectations? Whose expectations were high? The guy, my ex. For her, his expectations were high for her to be, like, super, super sexy in bed? Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, I said to him, I said, you are crazy. That took me years and years and years to become comfortable sexually. And I grew up a non-Muslim... And I lost my virginity at 17. And I wasn't okay. really comfortable. And I didn't really have a great time. I didn't really enjoy sex for my own better until I was like 25. Mm. And I met, a, I met a guy who I got engaged to. And he, he kind of said, you know, you don't have to, you know, you can be louder in bed. You don't have to just, you can, don't be such a, a fish, like a, wet, like a dead fish. He didn't say that to me, but I think I was a little bit like that <laughs> until I, kind of, until I got, my, got my shit together, you know. And then it was great. Then it was just fucking phenomenal. It was like self-care to me after that. It was great. And okay. I looked at it differently. But he expected her to be, and by the time I was 25, I, I'm not going to tell you the number, but it was certainly more than one, obviously. Yeah. And, and it was and it, spiritual, well, not spiritually, mentally it was great. It was a good idea to have experience before you get married. I said that to him. I said, you're an idiot. You expected her to be sexually voracious, be only having you as a partner. And you said you opened her up. I said, did she bleed? He's like, yeah, and she was crying the whole time. I said, are you fucking insane? What? Yeah, okay. You don't understand women as a sexual being. You don't understand any of that, Lolly. Well, I'm not going uh, I mean, to... Make a purple. Journey have to go make on. a purple. Uh, no, no. Make a purple. I'm, I'm not like a... I don't know who the hell this retard was that just went in and opened her up all like viciously and like, ripped her up and stuff. Terrible. Yeah. I'm not going to do that to like a That's girl. <laughs> like he, he really did suck as... He really... I had to kind of teach him... I had to teach him a few things. You know? Yeah. Like, you just get in there and just go really, really fast. Really, really fast. Oh, fucking dude, slow down. I'm not a fucking flashlight. He just didn't give a shit. He was horrible. Uh, who? Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't understand that. I mean, like, I like to make sure that the... You know, I would, I would, I would think that you'd want to make sure that the person you're doing stuff <laughs> with is uh, in, in, enjoying it with you uh, you know I, <laughs> I know I, I caught you there I caught you you okay I, you just said something that yeah <laughs> what what <laughs> <laughs> you referred to yourself oh I like to and then you change it to I would like to think you're such a liar <laughs> such a fucking liar fuck me if I ever meet a guy that's not a liar I swear to God, I'm going to be 95 by the time I meet a guy who's not a liar. Like, all make, guys. make a purple. Let me, let me ask you something. Make it a just... purple. Let me ask you something here. Um, do you think, like, if you came across a guy who really enjoys making sure that the girl gets her nut, 
like like he wants the ratio to be like a four to one four to one ratio every single time they do anything naughty she has to cream her pants at least four times before well, he creams that's... his pants yeah, but that's also a, a stupid expectation. Oh, I want you to enjoy it. If that means, oh, I have to enjoy it, you know? No, fuck you. Why, Just... why, why, why? What's the issue? What's the issue there? Why don't you want to enjoy it? <laughs> no, I do, of course. But if you tell me that I have to, that's going to give me a, a stress. I'm going to feel pressured to enjoy it. <laughs> it's like giving me a book that you love and go, hey, you better love this because I loved it. Just give oh, okay, me the book. Just give me the book. Don't tell me to love it. Just And don't tell me how you love to please a woman because I will not sleep with you. I don't care how sexy you are. I'm, well, help, uh, help me understand that. Help me understand that mentality there. Let me, like, explain it to me. Because well, there's some psycho psychology going on there. Let me, uh, help me understand it. Actually, you know, when people have to tell you about how great they are at something, they're usually garbage at it. Mm. Because they're trying to make themselves believe that they're good at it. Like I thought I was good at cycling before I joined a meetup group, and I'm not. I'm ve I'm not. I'm not fast as them. I'm not. I don't have a fucking speed bike. So I stopped telling people that I was. You don't I'm think not. that there are some guys that can walk up to a girl and tell a girl like, "I will one hundred percent guarantee you <laughs> that if I, that if I get you onto myself, you will get wet between yeah. your legs." Oh. That's cringy. That's so disgusting. That's like m'lady and oh no. That's nice that they say that it's cringy, but the reality is, it's the, it's a fact that this is this will happen. They'll get wet. That's a lot of pressure the guy's putting on himself as well. Can't you just kiss and start to kiss and then do what you want to do and then whatever? A if make a purple, make a purple. Why is it pressure? Because you know, if a guy says two plus two is four. That's not pressure. That's just reality. It's just it is what it a, is. <laughs> why, why does a guy have to tell me he's – look, I – a couple of years ago, I think I told you, there's a guy with a – okay, I'm not going <laughs> to – I just – I had, a, I had a, a lot of very nice times with this individual, right? He was a mm -hmm. very subdued kind of man, not very tall. I think he was as tall as I am, but he had a very nice penis, very big. It was beautiful. And, you know, he never said how great his penis was. He never said how great he was in bed. This guy was, a, was phenomenal. I think I went to heaven a few times. And the reason that I did is because we didn't talk about sex before. We just let it happen. There was absolutely Okay, so there's, there's no... some psychology stuff going on there with you, I see. Not really. It was, just an, <laughs> it was like we went out for dinner and that's it. We're just going to eat. And how do you eat? You chew. You put it in your mouth and you chew. That's what sex is like. You just do whatever you want to do. Is it really supposed to be that complicated, Mickey Purple? Can't you just, you know, is it really that, like... What? I mean, like, is it... I'm saying it's simple. Sex yeah. is the easiest thing in the world. But, you're, but you sound like you're contradicting yourself here a little bit because that, uh, that Arab guy ripped that Turkish late girl apart and in his head he's like, why is it so difficult? It's just a hole and I put it in and, you know... No, no, it's completely. He was, he wasn't very. Oh, he was a great kisser though. He was able. He was. See, she because she didn't have much experience. She let him lead. See, when me and him had sex, I never, I never let him lead. Otherwise, he'd just, he'd, he'd, he'd last for like two minutes, and that's it. And I wouldn't come at all. Like it would be just be garbage. And that happened a few times. And then I sat him down. I said, look. This is what you're not doing. Mm. Have you done this ever before? He's like, no, I've never done that. <laughs> I can't believe he'd never done that thing that I was referring. I couldn't believe that. And the next <laughs> time, and the next time, it was it was really good. Mm. Because she because she didn't have the uh, she couldn't articulate what she wanted because she'd never had it before. And this is well... the, my point is is that you need a certain body count as much as i hate that term you need it because you, i you i don't agree with that i don't i don't agree i don't agree with that i don't agree with that well, argument that you need a body count why can't you just benefit you 
Definitely. No, no, no. It, ha- it has it has benefits in that. Yeah, you're dealing with if you're if you've dealt with a hundred different retards in a hundred different s- situations and scenarios, that you're more well equipped to handle whatever gets thrown at you because you've seen it before. I agree with that. But why not just go through the experience with you with one person about learn what they like, you know, slowly but surely. That's the issue. I guess with that. that I- that would work as long as they don't have huge expectations and wanting the girl to do anal the first time she has sex. Yeah, that might work. But guys today are awful. They've been brought up on porn. Oh, this God. is true. This is that's very yeah. interesting. You brought it's, you brought that up because there's a girl that I'm talking to right now that possibly maybe is saying that uh, traumatized by her boyfriend says that her boyfriend uh, uh, was addicted to porn and would always like rate every single girl that he saw against her like he would hmm. always say like well that girl's a 10 out of 10 but you're a 5 out of 10 and they would try to he would try to like she would try to like please please him but he would be like no you're a 5 out of 10 compared to that porn i can't do it i gotta go watch porn he was like traumatized by that she's not still with this guy is she no they i told her like oh you, you told her oh god yeah i told her like stop what the hell are you doing like <laughs> yeah, I'm sure she couldn't handle it anymore. Just like this fucking Algerian guy that I've just. Yeah. It comes to a point where you just can't handle. It. You can't stand it anymore. It's just too much. There's too. There's so much lacking. There's you're sitting on the couch and you're just going. I could be on my own right now in a bookshop. I could be doing anything other than being with this person. Yeah, he's great. He's pretty to look at. He's very pretty, but uh. Who gives a shit if he's pretty to look at? But if he was someone that hot before, this is the thing. He was a real novelty to me. It doesn't. It didn't matter though, because you're not. You guys are like separated now. So what the hell was the point? You know. Well, I realize that I am. I would like to have a relationship with somebody. Dude, um, I think I told you this before. Like, like I mean, like. The only thing that looks are going to do for me is get me to want to talk to the person initially. But as soon as they open their mouth and they're like a freaking faggoty ass, retarded bitch ass, like freaking retard, I don't give a shit what the hell they look like. I will tear their looks apart and bitch slap them around mentally, physically, and everything. I don't give give two shits what the hell they look like if they're a freaking retard with brain damage. (laughs) What am I supposed to do? Like... Why do you have to abuse people? Why can't you just walk away? Because I need to, like, mark my territory. I'm just territorial like that. <laughs> like, I, go, I, to... I gotta go, like, I'm gonna see this guy one more time when I go back to Zimmy because he owes me some shit that I really need to get back off him. And yeah. I I will go in there and I'm not gonna say anything to him. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna say thank you and goodbye. I'm gonna get back in my car. I'm gonna drive. I might actually say, because I really don't want him to contact me, because he did wish me a Merry Christmas. And, I... <laughs> okay. and, the fucker, and the fucker knows where I live in Sydney too, so if I don't answer his text for like a week or so, he calls me. If I don't answer the call, he might come around to my parents' house. So I have to – I doubt it though. I highly doubt it. But I think I, I'm going to have to tell him. I'm going to have to say, look, this is over and I'm blocking you, so don't try to contact me. You know what he'll say? I know what? exactly what he'll say say okay no worries that's it <laughs> okay no worries okay get myself a great intellectual guy with a big dick and <laughs> who loves the fuck out of me who will do anything for me and i'm gonna be like that with him too i'm gonna do anything for him and we will just take on the world together there we go that's my that's that's my wish to you god if you exist You've been awful to me this year. I don't appreciate what you've done to me this year. It hasn't been very happy for me. But if you do exist... Make a purple. You did it to yourself, make a purple. <laughs> no, I haven't told you. I haven't told you everything that happened this year. And I'm not going to because I don't trust you enough to tell you. But something really <laughs> happened. Yeah, well, you should. I mean, yeah, it didn't go very well. I, I already told you. I already told you. I'm not talking about the Arab guy. I'm not talking about the Arab guy. I'm not talking about <laughs> Who? Oh, other stuff? Other stuff happened? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 
Way more important stuff. Way more important. But in a way, that guy made me forget about the calamities that were happening up in Sydney. So, um, and then drama happened in the year, and so I was um, able to help somebody in the year, and um, you know that was nice. Well, oh. well, well, you were actively decimating that, the character, but yeah, it's okay. Well, not really, <laughs> not really okay, but yeah. Yeah, is that no backbone cuck feeling better now? I'm not even going to answer that question because of how you referred to that person, so. <laughs> <laughs> They're both retards. Both the individuals involved in that were both retards. They're both you, like leftovers. Keep huh? facilitating. Why do you keep facilitating that asshole when she's make a purple, make a purple. People have yeah. realized that I'm a my, my just my name alone is a very powerful tool. Uh, even though I don't talk to these mother effers, they like to use my name to like push the agendas. You really do. My... You really, I really hope that's true. I do. I really do. I hope that's true. <laughs> yeah, dude. Because then that would show that you do have a backbone and you do have. Yeah. I can't control what other people say. I mean, yeah, sure, I can shove my fist up their ass and like work them like a puppet if I wanted to, but I, I, I don't want to, you know, I, ultimately, I, you know, if a mm. person's going to say stuff, they're going to say stuff, even if I'm not, I'm not thing, around. I mean, the good thing that happens with people when they dox each other is that the people that are doxed, they leave, they either leave the hubs or they leave SL, which is a fabulously mentally healthy thing to do. Yeah. Well, if they don't want to listen to me when I tell them to get their shit together and they want to just obsess over the game, then they should obsess yeah, okay. properly. They should eat each other alive. Okay. One person is obsessed. The other has absolutely no interest in that person. But, um, okay. Well, anybody who takes this game serious, I want them to eat each other alive. I want them to stay on here and just, like, you know, and I'll facilitate that. I'll facilitate them driving each other crazy. These people like need to like just f off, you know. You'll facilitate them. Okay, so what does that entail? Are you facilitating them driving each other crazy, or are you facilitating in the active doxing of one person that completely and utterly did not deserve that? Um, I like to keep that uh, up in the air, you know, and let people figure it out for themselves. <laughs> I wish I had solid proof. I, I, you know, I'll. I wish I had solid proof. Not involved. It's not gonna happen. Again. There's no proof. I, I know. Mean, there, any anything could be happening. Anything could be happening. It, everything's a possibility. Everything absolutely is 100% a possibility. Make up her. What do? You, what is your definition of take this game seriously? like obsess over the game have their emotions involved in the game like as if their life depends on it like threaten to kill themselves if they lose their account you know you know okay. uh, cuss their parents out and cuss their mom and mommy and daddy out or whatever and prioritize this game over all their real life stuff and have sims and pay spend money on here and mm -hmm. all this all this stuff is uh, obsessing over this hard and ass game that i do not agree with yeah, but it's confined, isn't it? It's good that way. <clears throat> Conf what do you mean confined? Looks like that. Well, the hubs are confined to certain areas of the of the grid, aren't they? It doesn't matter if it's like I don't differentiate between no, the hubs and I, any I, other I, location. I don't I differentiate. I don't differentiate. But... I'd, I'd absolutely do. I absolutely do. Because well, you you and I disagree there, Maker Purple, because I don't. <laughs> Well, you don't have any. You don't have any account here that's that's permanent. You don't embody your. You know, you don't anyway. Exactly. That. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I that's don't, okay. I don't. I'm not here. I mean, I'm not here to change your mind, and that's your whole mo is is to think this whole game is retarded and stuff like that. The hubs are retarded. The psychology around the hubs and clout and anonymity and all that kind of shit is retarded. Uh, make a purple. Uh, make a purple. If you bring someone in here from some other location. I will treat, I will shove my, if they say one thing I don't like that I, I don't agree with, I will shove my fist up their ass. I don't care if they're from the hub, the hubs or from Shimble Bumble or whatever the hell location you bring them from. It's like, you know, <laughs> I'm why? not going to treat these people. Why, why, why should I? They need to earn it. Do you think they're going to be able to earn it, Mega Purple? 
How do you I don't earn think it? Be able to... Earn it with oh, through you give them little tests and you think. Of that course, okay. of course. Right. I'm gonna ask them what, what two plus two is. You know, slowly take it from there. <laughs> You know, and if some of these people don't know how to do it, yes. why that's shouldn't not, I? Why should? That's not true though, because you talk to any Jed's, Gen Z girl on here, anyone, anyone that comes around here, you talk to them. No, make a purple. I do not. <laughs> yeah. You... Uh uh Anyone with a little valley girl voice, ew, lovely daddy. Ew, ew, you there, like... there are there are certain individuals who lost the ability to be able to interact and communicate with me long, long time ago, and they've never had a chance, and they never will until one of us is dead in real life. It's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> There's plenty of those types of people. Those girls are always going to disappoint you. Which ones? The little Gen Z girls. Of course, they don't, yeah, of course I don't. Like, I mean, it's, just, it's, the, it's the same attitude that you had when, when you would show up at these places. And I remember I remember observing you when you would show up <laughs> into a large crowd of this disgusting people. And okay. they, would all try to t they would all try to talk to you and you would bitch slap them around. And I agreed with it, and I liked it. I liked that you would do that. Well, you know, I didn't do it for your. Well, that's good. That that the fact that you were doing it from your own. Uh... It because I did it because I. Uh... Yeah, it's because your past right. experience with these people, because your past experience, they didn't earn the ability to be able to interact with you uh, in a friendly manner. Yeah, but I would never be friends with, I could never, you know, the reason I was awful to them is because I could not see a future friendship with any of those people. You've, you've figured them out within the first couple of sentences that comes out of their mouth. That's it. That's all there is. There's nothing more. Yeah. Well, you see, this is, the, you know, this is something that you bring to the table as an older female that the <laughs> younger females don't. You can just, you've, you've developed techniques. Why? And Why? I agree with, Why I agree with your techniques. Why do you call women females? You're reducing again. You're reducing women to their biology, which I find kind of gross. You know. Yeah, but I mean, like you I said, like China. you know, a I few mean, words thinking. come out of their mouth, and you understand what they're saying, and like, is it worth it or not? And it's not worth it, and you quickly figure it out. See the and future. I agree with that. Well, time is valuable. Make a purple. You can't just allow any random ass faggot or bitch to just walk up and talk to you. It's not about that, though. It's about being interested by what people have to say. Yeah, I'm not, not interested about, what, not by about what allowing, I, I allow people naturally if they're interesting people, if they, if they can hold a conversation and talk on a myriad of topics, you know? Yeah. Right now at Makeup Purple, I'm like, if they show up from wherever and I haven't come across them before, um... I will be like clenching my fist and like grit gritting my teeth, wanting to like rip their throat apart, but like but like remaining calm. You know, like asking them questions. Can but, I? But like it, very quickly, I would lose interest very quickly. Can I TP somebody here? Go on, oh, sure, no, go don't. ahead. No, 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 no. Sure, go ahead, but don't don't expect me to be nice to anybody. <laughs> Who's this person? I know I like no games, dance, and what else. Nice to meet you. Can ask me anything. What the hell kind of? I can't, dude. I can't. <laughs> you go ahead. Who are you gonna? T who are you gonna TP? To make a purple. No, 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 no. It was just that's no. I'm just going to send Doc a message on Discord to ask her to come in here because she had a date with you tonight and I just want her to keep that. Yeah, you should teleport her, teleport her here. Well, we were talking about you this afternoon. That's good. See, you you and Doc are, you know, older females. I don't know what her... her... Older female. Oh you guys can't... <laughs> you, you guys are not. Incel, you have an incel sink. Anybody, any woman over twenty five is an older female. I like it. Makes, I've always liked girls in their thirties. I thought they were what? like the hottest. What? 
You don't. I've you go always. Like 22 no, no, no. Is your benchmark. No, he- hell, don't make it purple. Hell, no. Like the hottest females in my mind have always been in their third. For me, to me. Is that because you want to do the mummy thing? It's just they're like matured. They they know what they like. They have like a really perverted, dirty mind. Their their hips are developed like they have birthing hips. Like everything's like all <laughs> round and juicy and delicious. And they have a dirty brain to back it up. It's freaking hot. It's freaking hot. I like it a lot. Yeah, but, but you wouldn't you wouldn't have a real relationship with them. No, because they'll have a body count. But I mean, they're good to like be naughty with and stuff. <laughs> mm. <laughs> have a body count <laughs> the next guy i meet i should tell him that i'm a virgin i wonder if he'll believe me <laughs> and so when we have sex and so when we have sex the first time i'll make sure i'm on my period so then he thinks that he's like that my membrane is isn't that that isn't that terrible that's a terrible thing to do i mean ultimately you know as a female you're going to do what you're going to do and the guy's going to do what he's going to do and they're going to try to best each other and may the best man win, basically, I guess. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know, he's going to bring his little techniques and skills to the table. You're, you're going to bring yours. And... I don't know. I don't think I want to do that for a while. Well, it's, it's not going to end well. But you guys are going to try ex- to trick each other. This whole experience recently is just completely taken like i don't even want to have sex with anybody anymore <laughs> whole, it? i just feel gross you know why do you feel gross because if he showed his truth he showed his true self at the end of it mm. and i was denying it denying it denying it and then it just all when they show you who they are believe them you know, make a purple. Do you do you know that this sentiment that I have about body counts is not just? Don't take this as like a personal attack on you either. By the way, this is just I'm like I'm just letting you know. Like I've had a lot of discussions with a lot of different males, and they have the same like 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 guy talk like in guy circles where there's no females around. Guys mm-hmm. of all over the place. Like it doesn't matter if they're Muslim or Christian or Jewish or atheist or whatever the heck they are. Guys have, like, deep down, they have an issue with this body count thing. Like, they can't take a girl serious if they have a body count. They what? just use her. They just they, Their mentality is they want to use her and pass her along. Like, she belongs to the streets. Just use her and pass her along. Did you know this? No, because I don't know douchebags like that. Well... It's a lot of guys that have this mentality. So Generation Z is dealing with this too right now. Like they like is they this, have this, is like, this, this. Is this this friend of yours that you were talking? Remember when you were talking about this girl that you apparently were going to marry? And you, he was asking about her family. Like he was this all knowledgeable kind of guy when he actually sounded like somebody who plays Magic the Gathering. So I, uh, I couldn't he take was a, he, he was a kid. You know, that guy was a kid. He was a, he's gen, he's a Gen Z. Okay, so why were you talking about your impending connection with this bride to be that you were going to get? I was up? possibly putting on a show for you because, you know, possibly. Hey, <laughs> I wanted you. Why? I just wanted to see, like, how, how you would like what you would uh, what you thought about it. He wasn't. He, I was putting on a show. He didn't. He didn't know that I was putting on a show. I know, and that was the funny thing. Oh god, this guy's for real. I thought, oh dear. He is for real. The stuff that he was saying was coming out of his mouth was what he actually thought. Was he married? No, he's a Generation Z. He doesn't want to get married. He's over there like doing stuff in college and sleeping around. And... So he's got a body count. Yeah, he does have a body count. Yeah. But that doesn't matter because he's a guy. In his head, yeah. Fuck. Which I don't agree with. Maybe women but... should say, oh, you have a body count. I'm not going to sleep with you. You should. I mean, if you that's an effect. That is an effective argument. Like, uh, argue, uh, females typically argue with emotions. If you argue with a guy using logic, they will. you will shake them up because, you know, guys typically like to think with logic, not with emotions. Mm-hmm. So one way to get them is to throw whatever they throw at you, throw it back at them. Like if they make a big deal about your body count, you could say, well, shit, you have a body count too, nigga. 
what the hell are you freaking you hypocrite you're gonna talk shit about my body count i'm gonna talk shit about your body count it, it'll shake them and they'll be like well shit now what am i supposed to say like that will get them you know you can't you can't use that on me because i don't really have a body count so <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, you're going to be really bad in bed the first time. <laughs> you're going to come in like 30 seconds. It's going to be awful. I kind of want to be your coach. I kind of want to be in the bedroom or come in the bathroom with you like for five minutes before you have your first sexual experience, if it's real. I don't really believe you are a virgin, but let's. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Um, I want to just be your sexual coach and just say, okay, Lolly, this is going to happen and then this is going to happen. You need mm -hmm. to be ready for that. And don't just get your fill because the girls usually don't want it really, really fast. And I know that that's what you'll be doing because that's how you wank probably. I mean, why wouldn't you? <laughs> you, can do it as, you can do it at the speed you like when you're wanking. Mm -hmm. But with an actual female, it's going to be awful. She's going to cry. It's going to be terrible. <laughs> oh, God. Do you have a really big dick? I hope, I actually hope you don't have a really big dick because that thing is going to, if you want a virgin. <laughs> I'll, go sl I'll go slow. Do you know why this guy was kicked out of Algeria? Why he came to Australia? He told me. Why? He was, when he was 24, he met a girl and she was Muslim and a virgin and he was a virgin. And mm -hmm. they would have like sexy chat on the phone. And they got so hot with each other that they wanted to have sex. And so he he paid some guy to, to have a hotel room and she went there with him and they had sex. And then the next day he gets notification from somewhere in his village or whatever that she's told her uncles and stuff like that that she had sex with this with him. Mm. And um, word got out to him that they were going to kill him if they found him. So the next day he gets a passport and he gets on a plane to Malaysia and then he pays a guy off to get him on a boat to Australia. Well, in some parts of the world, in that part of the world, these things are not taken lightly, you know. No, clearly. Yeah. Because yeah, people still so, have their dignity and their honor in those places. So that's how he became an asylum seeker. Now, I don't really believe that's true because I think this guy's the biggest, fattest liar in the world, but it's a good story. And if I ever write s short stories, I'll probably write about that because it's kind of... And because he was the only Algerian on the boat coming over here, he thought they were going to push him into the sea and drown him. Hmm. So then he's like, I'm not afraid of anything. They can do anything to me. The government, the tax or anyone, they can do whatever they want to me and I'm not scared. God. Which is why he ran away. Yeah. I mean, I was thinking she might have told her brothers or uncles that he raped her because surely just saying that he had that she, she had sex with him wouldn't make them want to come after him and kill him, would they? Well, well, it would what it would could do is it was cause a problem with her, with her as well. She would be on the, you know, she probably said she got raped. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Because now the blame is not on her because it was out of her control kind of a thing. Yeah. She only has she only has to answer for how the hell did you end up over there with him if mm. she got raped. And she had to come mm. up with some extravagant story that was believable. Mm. Well, he was definitely interesting. I'll give him that. Sounds like a faggot. Gonna... Yeah, the next guy I date is going to be really boring, I reckon. I can't date Aussie guys, I guess. I don't want to date. I don't want to date Muslim guys either. They're all fucking weird about women. Exhibit A to my left. I was telling you, Make a Purple, that it's not going to work out with you and Islam and an Islamic guy because the mentality and ideologies and thought processes are they are not the same as what you have. Whack, completely whack, and at all. It's just different. Yeah, completely. Yeah, it's, it's at odds. <sighs> I'll never do. I'll never do anything just because I have nothing better to do. I'll never do that. You know. How did you even? Come, I mean, well, I mean that. That's good. That's over with. I mean, just get your whatever he owes you. Just get it and get out. Uh, that guy needs his, to fix his, his own shit. 
Oh, you know, he doesn't sound like he has his shit together. Is it? Yeah, he's. What a clown. I wrote. I, I wrote this excellent letter to the taxation office in his words, and he was just playing on his phone the whole time while I was referring to the the, the letter the taxation letter taxation office mm-hmm. sent to him and. I was highlighting them just what, what I do when I was at university and I was putting it in his words and then I'd read it back to him. And it took me like a couple of hours to really do because he owes them 20000 And he's just avoiding it. He's an avoidant type of person. <sighs> and... Damn, girl, you've been helping so me I write had... all this. I mean, yeah, like so I had, to create, I had to create a, a, a case of why he applied for that money where he wasn't entitled to it and they gave it to him. Because uh, his fucking idiot friend filled it out because he can't write that well because he's English. He could speak in a conversational, not like a first language, but but writing for him is is very bad. He can't. Really so write. it sounds it sounds like he just used you, Minka Purple. He just used yeah. you to write his totally. papers and stuff. And did he totally. get the best of you, or did you get the best of him? I he got the best of me. I I've never been like that with anyone. So the takeaway was is that. Yeah. <laughs> I can I can bring I can bring it to the table when I really like someone. But the fact is is that I hate every guy I meet. Like I hate it. There's always something fucking wrong with them, you know, and I just but with this guy, I don't know. It was fuck it was weird. On paper yeah, I should have You just got your ass kicked by some freaking retarded Arab guy. I didn't get my ass kicked. How but did you, I get my ass kicked? He just used you. He was wiping the floor with you, make a purple. Oh, here we go. Are you going to troll me over this now? Yeah, this is going to no, be but No, but make a ripple. You wrote, you just said you wrote his papers and you wrote his like government documents and all this shit. Well, you didn't have to do wrote, any of that for him. I wrote, a, I wrote a reply email, which was like three paragraphs long. It wasn't an essay, Lolly. So, okay. Okay. So he didn't, you, it, like, he didn't use you. I offered every single time. I said, okay. He's like, how am I going to write yeah. back to them? I'm like, well, I'll help you. Idiot. Yeah. <laughs> Tell him to write his own damn papers with his freaking retarded Can't ass. Can't write English. Like, Can't write English like I could. Too, even. too bad for him, nigga. That's what I would have told him. Too bad for you. If you want me to write your shit, pay me. My time is valuable. I don't know what the hell you... You want me to, you want to use my vagina and get me to write your papers for you, you freaking retarded faggot? Uh, this is the slant you have on this whole experience. I knew that. I knew that. <laughs> You have such a small little mind. You have not, you've never even learnt about critical thinking ever in your whole well, relationships are nuanced. They're not like like when someone complains in relationship advice on Reddit. It's like hit the gym, get a lawyer, leave his ass. Like it's not that. It was f- so f- fucking black and white, you know. So you don't feel like you wasted your time with this idiot. No, no, because he got me, I got my mind off some horrific shit that was happening in my family and yeah. Mm. I guess, I guess so. Yeah, I guess. <sighs> well, but look, but, 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 but look, make a purple. How, <laughs> how many of these, how many of these little excursions can you afford? How many more can you afford before it's just way too late? Way too late? What do you mean, way too late? What, no one will have me on over the hill? Yeah, you don't I want to d- settle down? I don't down really. Or... No, I don't. He, was, he, he would say these things off the cuff and it would, it would make me feel. But if I was to get married to him and live with him, I'd have to kill myself. I probably would have a breakdown because there would be, li- there would be no intellectual stimulation at all. God damn. Uh, he doesn't just... read books. I'd be reading books and, and he would have this Arabic music playing all the fucking, oh, my God, I'm so glad I don't have to listen to that anymore. Oh, my God. Oh. The... <laughs> Fuck, it's I... Arabic. I'm sorry. It's such an ugly, I'm sorry. It's not a pretty language. It's not Italian. It's not my, la... it's not my language. Yeah, I don't no, care. No. <laughs> no, but, oh, God. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> and the Arabic music now is like they have that auto-tune. And they all try to be gangster. Oh, God. Mm. He was 33 and he wore fucking baseball caps. Like, I'm sorry, but I, this comes a time when you don't, you shouldn't wear baseball mm. caps, you know? Oh, my God. That sounds like, I don't know how you do it, Make a Purple. I mean, you're, sometimes you give me, 
like shit for wasting my time with people, but like from the sound of it, home slice, you're. I don't know what the hell you're doing with this dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're an asshole! God, you're a you're a, you're a fucking sometimes. Really. Oh, oh. oh my god! God damn, dude! Just hearing some of the stuff that you had to go through with this dude. How can you? How? I did it because the only reason I did it was because he was good looking. That's the only reason. Ah, yeah, fat dude. I wanted to think. I wanted to. It was kind of an experiment in a way because I wanted to really pick someone's brain about the, what <sighs> they, what really, really attractive people, how mm. they live their lives, and what did I? What was, what was my, uh, the outcome of that hypothesis? Mm. Um, Seriously, make a purple. I mean, I value a, the brain of a human being so much. Like the more, the more I interact with people, the more like my my preferences prioritize the shit out of coming across people and surrounding myself with people who have a brain in their skull that I can properly interact with them and engage with them. Oh, no, yeah, care. you're great. Yeah, you're amazing, Wally. You make all the great decisions of life. That's why you're like a 30 no, I mean, no. Oh, silly. I, no, I and mean, I mean. Sex <laughs> and no time on here, like getting people's information and going facilitating. Uh, make it purple. Make it purple. Yeah. Do, you still, do you still value the way that the person looks more than what, they, what their brain is capable no. of? No. No, no. No. Okay. No, no. No, yeah. because what what I found out was with very attractive people, is that um, they are just like everybody else. He didn't know he was attractive. He didn't know. He did not know. And we kind of put a lot of value on people who are very attractive. And um, I don't. It was. I don't. Mm. I, do, I absolutely do not. I just liked looking at him. He was just so pretty. I know, I'm just a fucking shallow ass. He's just so pretty to look at. He's so tall. It means nothing. He, it means nothing. But then he got fat. And I was I was really into fitness. And, my, and he'd have KFC all the time. And these kebabs. And oh, fuck off. That's when I started to eat sushi. I, I'm like, oh, I can't eat this shit that this guy's eating. Otherwise, I'll be like 100 million pounds. All that good work will go out the door, you know? I mean, I know like, look, I mean, like, I, I mean, look, looks are important, okay? Looks are important because you want to be able to, like, you don't want to be disgusted by your partner every time you look at them, right? They got to upkeep and they got to have maintenance and upkeep and be clean and have some freaking hygiene, wash themselves, take care of themselves a little bit, you know? Yeah. They don't have to be, you know, obviously, but that's, mm. you know, like see if, 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 if you and me were like, uh, uh, you know, husband and wife, you know, I have, I have a good body. I take care of myself. I am high. I have hygiene. I smell very nice. You know, right now, mm -hmm. you could you mm -hmm. could you could reach over, and if you wanted to, at any moment, you know, just from your own, of your own fancy, you could right. reach over and like caress the like the shape of my the of my chest muscles, mm -hmm. go down to my biceps and shoulders, and all kinds. You right. just feel the the contours of my sculpted body, and <laughs> you know. And on, and on and on top of that, on on top of that, you could be like this dude. Not only has this that he's that I'm able to do, just trace mm -hmm. the contours of his sculpted body. He also brain has a brain brawn. on, you know. Mm -hmm. And and then you then you could just glance down and be like, I'm going to enjoy him later because I just get out of this. You know, God damn, I've been through some shit, but this dude is like a. Is like a godsend or something, you know. Well, that's that's gonna be the next guy. The next, I am gonna be awful next time I date someone. <laughs> I'm gonna be awful. I'm gonna be the worst person. Yeah, why is that? Uh, my standards went from being, oh, I got nothing better to do. I'm kind of bored in Melbourne. How about I get a car and I'll I'll get in my car and I'll drive up to Sydney to see. I always wanted to fuck a really hot guy. I've always wanted to fuck a really like 
a model. <laughs> I wonder what it's like. Well, it's exactly the same. Actually, no, not really. Because there was a time when I was standing up. Anyway, no, I won't go into that. Hmm. But it's good. It's good to know. It's good for your ego. When everything is, when every, at the end of the day, it's good to know that you can attract a very attractive person. It's kind of good for the ego, you know. So then you can't I... really come down from that. Because I've had two really hot guys this year and I can't come down from that. What do you Maybe. mean? You can't I don't come know. Down I don't know. I haven't been on I've deleted all my dating profile. I've deleted everything for like a few weeks now. Cause I just can't do it. I can't keep doing this. Cause I keep feeling <laughs> I'm tired. Where I is see, he? I just Where think is it's he? so I just think it's so goofy that you say a hot guy because that's just r relative and subjective. A guy that you think is hot, I might consider dog shit. You know? Yeah, I know. So it's like, what is it? That's and it's right. like, it's like, yeah. So it's like when someone says someone's super hot, I'm like, okay, I don't even know what that means because you know, it's like it's neither here nor there. But there is a problem with super hot guys is that all the other girls want him too. So you're constantly looking around thinking that he's never. And you're constantly, I wasn't surprised when, yeah, it's not good for your self-esteem because you're really not, because you're like, he, I don't deserve him. He's way too attractive, you know. So it's only a matter of time until I find that he's screwing two or three other girls. Like that's, he's, that's what he's like. He's a player. So if you were, if you and I were together, do you, and I gave you my word that I'm, and I told you I'm not doing anything with other, other people. Would you believe me? No. Why? If you're as hot as you say you are, no. You've possibly girls, seen me on girls, camera. Girls are relentless. I've seen your torso and you're wearing a t-shirt. I couldn't get any idea of what you look like. Um, mm -hmm. It's other girls that I worry about. Girls are relentless. I mean, you've seen how they are in here, for God's sake. Yeah. And mm -hmm. they don't even care if men are married anymore. Like, they really don't give a shit. No, they don't. They're just like a kid in a candy store. So, I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of sh it's kind of shaken my... I was already had really bad trust issues before him, and now they're just... They're completely fucked. So... <laughs> I think I'm just going to buy a bit of land in Southern Victoria and build my cob house and just rescue dogs. I think that's that would be good for me. Hey, if you rescue dogs, you need to immediately message me on on uh, on you know and let me know that you have dogs in your house. You're disgusting, and I know exactly where you're going. And <laughs> talk to me. Yeah, we need to definitely talk about it if if it you no. know if it gets to that point. Disgusting. You're absolutely immorally filthy. That's horrible. <laughs> and also, it's raping animals because they can't give consent. Make a purple. If your big you're juicy ass that, is up horrible. in the uh, make a purple. If your big juicy ass is up in the air and you're vacuuming underneath the sofa and your dog mounts you, how is that not consent? Because they don't speak English. That's disgusting. I would get the vacuum cleaner and it'd be awful. But I'd have to hit it, hit the dog. I wouldn't want to do that. I'd have to take it outside and this. Well, at least out. let it, just let it finish. Can you please not, can we not talk about this? Uh, we'll talk about it later, not right no, now. No, we That's, will not. not. Not the time to talk about it. No, this. I'm not that, I'm not cutie banana, <laughs> I'm not into that bullshit. No, ew. <laughs> Don't do this. This is horrible. <laughs> Who the heck is it? <laughs> That's disgusting. I can't get it and it's horrific. Yuck. Mm. Dogs okay. are like children to me. They they need to be. Oh, that's so hot! Don't say it. Don't say it like that. That's yeah. I know. I can't say anything. I can't say anything. <laughs> I really can't. Wait, okay, purple. This is going south real quick. I'm like, my hands are starting to like. Everything's like. I'm feeling tingly a little bit, possibly. Why? <sighs> oh, let's all just calm down for a bit. <laughs> Let's all just relax. I just feel like, I just want to why you gotta do this? Why you gotta make a guy feel good? Uh, sometimes like this, make a purple. Why? Why you gotta be? Like I didn't this? do anything but be present. That's all, and just talk to you. 
Do you know how to build? Do you know how to build a clubhouse? Because maybe you could. Yeah, I could build a clubhouse. No, a cob house. A cob. It's made of it's made of like clay and things. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, I think you insulate it with straw. Yeah. And mm. but I if I buy some if I buy a block of land, it won't have good internet access though. But then I'll have my dog rescue, so I won't really need to come on and sell anymore. Ay ay ay. Yeah, that's mm hmm Hey, make a purple. I gotta go take care of something. I'll be back later, possibly, maybe. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna log too. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's log out. Let's log out at the exact same time. Okay. You go first. Okay. Okay, for a while for now. Uh, possibly, maybe. Alright. <laughs> mm hmm.